let's make a start in Italy with the Futurists. As their name suggests, the Futurists were intent on celebrating the modern world and all that came with it. Technology, industry, machines, cars, trains and speed. This painting by Umberto Boccioni, one of the leading futurist artists, is considered one of the earliest futurist paintings. It's called The City Rises and is now at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. It's a huge work. Boccioni painted it when he was living in Milan. In it, he captured the modern city in a state of transformation and the constant flux, noise and movement associated with urban life. Note the scaffolding on the buildings in the background. Meanwhile, in the foreground, a surging crowd of workmen battle to control a powerful horse. His painting embodies the futurist celebration of workers and of urban industrial life. In this, it echoes the words of the futurist manifesto. For just $10 billion, you can become one of the first space tourists to visit Mars. At least, according to the famous American entrepreneur, Elon Musk, that's how much it will cost to get one of the first tickets to the Red Planet with his company, SpaceX. Musk is already planning the first flight in 2022. But for the average person, there aren't too many sightseeing tours to Mars. Mankind wants to colonize Mars, do more to necessity than just fascination. According to Elon Musk, Mars is the only refuge that can save the human species from extinction in an event such as World War III. According to the entrepreneur, this extinction event may happen in the coming decades. But when exactly? 2026? 2037? Or maybe the year 2058? If Elon is right, then it may soon be time to pack your bags. But can scientists, by relatively near 2058, make possible not only a flight to Mars, but also the ability for humans to exist on this lifeless planet? Umberto Boccioni, 1882 to 1916, was an influential Italian painter and sculptor. Boccioni was one of the most prominent and influential artists among the Italian futurists, an art movement that emerged in the years before the First World War. Boccioni was important not only in developing the movement's theories, but also in introducing the visual innovations that led to the dynamic, Cubist-like style now so closely associated with the group. Emerging first as a painter, Boccioni later produced some significant futurist sculpture. He died while volunteering in the Italian army, aged only 33, making him emblematic of the futurist celebration of the machine and the violent destructive force of modernity.